Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to press T on your keyboard to get up the type tool. You want to click on the screen where you want to type. Then you just want to type out whatever you want. Uh, so I'm going to type out highlights 10 because, you know, why not? 10, nice rounded number. Then what you want to do is you want to click, make sure you clicked on the text. You want to go to graphics. And then you want to come to edit, the edit thing here. And you want to click on the highlights to make sure you're on the right thing. All of these things will come up. You want to change the font of the text. You want to change the font of the text to a Stretch Pro. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the download for that font. So now what you want to do, you want to change the size of the text to 75. So just come down to this uh, little button here and change it to 75. Then you want to come to Align and Transform and then just click these two buttons, Horizontal uh, Center and Vertical Center, and it'll put it in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to add a few different drop shadows to get the glow and the shadow effect. You want to search up Drop Shadow in your effects thing. You want to drag on perspective drop shadow so, so you don't need plugins for this uh, drop shadow so you want to drag it on to the text just like this you want to change the opacity to 100 percent the distance to zero percent and the softness to 100 percent you want to drag on another drop shadow and then you want to drag this below the first drop shadow like that and then you just want to open it up you want it to be 50 percent opacity distance zero and softness 100 once again then you want to add another drop shadow onto it again and have this one, make sure to bring this onto the bottom again. Make the softness 12, the distance 0, and make the color white, but keep it as 50% opacity. And then for the last time, you want to add another drop shadow. This is the final drop shadow you want to add. You want to drag it to the bottom. Make sure that, um, that you always drag the drop shadows to the bottom every time you add them on. Make sure that it's the order of um, this. So it goes this first 100% black one, then the 50% black one, then the 50% white one, and then this final one which you're going to make yellow or like whatever color you want. I'm also going to do yellow because that's the color that LMGK uses. And then you just want to change all the other settings. So you want to put the opacity to 100%, the distance to 0%, and then you want to increase the softness just a bit. I'm going to put it to uh, 10%, but it's obviously up to you. You can uh, lower it, you can increase it, but I'm going to use 10% because I think that looks nice. But yeah, so now for the final thing that you want to do, you want to search up s underscore shake this does require sapphire plug the sapphire plugins if you don't want to add the shake it's fine if you don't have sapphire you can just leave it like this and not have the shake but i think it's nice to just add the shake so s underscore shake drag it onto the text and then make sure you bring the shake to the bottom of all the drop shadows but above this little thing that says text just because if you have it at the top it moves the text for some reason i'm not quite sure why it does that but that's fine so you just want to drag the shake to the bottom like this scroll down in it i like putting the amplitude to 0.15 and I like having the frequency at 1, but obviously it's up to you, you can change it up a bit. But make sure it's low, don't make it too high because it'll look weird. But yeah, this is what it looks like. But yeah, if you enjoyed, you know, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. You can follow my Twitter, I'm quite active over there. You can follow my Twitch as well, I might start streaming soon. I don't know, we'll find out, you never know. But yeah, see you in the next one.